Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video, I'd like to talk about finding the equation of a table. So we've looked at what if we have a graph, what if we have two points. The last kind of example is, what if you're given a table of inputs and outputs, can you still find the equation of that line? So we're still using our y equals mx plus b equation. We still have to figure out what our slope is, and we still have to figure out what our y-intercept is. Now, what's nice about using a table is that sometimes you can see what your y-intercept is right away. Remember, y-intercept is really just our starting point, and our starting point is really just our zero term. Okay, y-intercept, let me go ahead and write that out so you can remember that. Y-intercept is another way of just saying our zero term. Well, looking at my table here, do I see anywhere where I have a zero term for my input? And right here, I see that when x equals 0, y equals 3. So this right here, this entry in my table, already tells me my y-intercept. And we don't have to do any work required to find it. So we already have our y-intercept. The last thing we need to find now is our slope. So let's go ahead and write out what we do know already. This is our equation here. We now know that y equals, we don't know what our slope is yet, our mx plus, but we do know that our y-intercept is three, okay? Now to find out what our slope is, we're gonna use the same process that we used last time. And that is this equation that we have, which says m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, remember, all that's really talking about is what is the change in y over the change in x. And what you have to do is just pick two different points in our table to use as your x1 and y1 and your x2 and y2. So it does not matter which two points you use. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is going to be my first point, and I'll make this guy my second point. Again, it doesn't matter which two points you use. You could use any combination and you'll still get the same slope. So let's go ahead and solve this out now. We have y2 minus y1. Well, my y2 here is five minus my y1, which is one, over. Now I need my x2. Well, here's my second point. Here's my x2, it's four minus my x1, which is negative four. All right, remember our next step now is just to simplify our numerator and denominator. Well, five minus one, that gives me four over, here we have four minus negative four, and hopefully we remember when you subtract a negative, that ends up just adding those two numbers together. So it really is just four plus four, which is eight. And our final step, is just to reduce 4 over 8. And 4 over 8 reduces to 1 half. So we know that m, our slope, is 1 half. Again, you guys could have picked any two different points, right? You don't have to pick my points. You could have chosen any two points, even the y-intercept point, and you should still end up with m equals 1 half. So now we're done with our equation here. We have y equals... We now know that our m is 1 half x plus 3. And that is our equation that matches this table. Again, we need to make sure that we're finding our slope and that we're finding our y-intercept. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.